Hey everybody, Darren Cross here. Welcome to week one of Business 134, Managing Diversity. So this class is all about diversity. And this week we are going over chapter one, which is laying the foundation for diversity. We're really basically trying to understand what diversity is and what diversity is really all about. So we're gonna look at it from a, 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 a couple of different perspectives. So we're gonna define diversity. We're gonna look at what the dimensions of diversity are. We're gonna actually talk about um, assimilating cultures versus pluralism and what that really means. Um, you're really just gonna kind of dig in and uh, figure out stuff you're gonna have. Um, so chapter one is gonna cover this week and next week, but we're gonna have some, I'm gonna add some things to it next week so that you can kind of expand on what diversity has, has uh, what your understanding of diversity has come to be. Um, but what I want you to think about uh, in, in this week is, the stuff that we're going over, so what is diversity from the standpoint of what you're reading, but I want you to be in touch with what you're thinking along the way also, right? So think about what diversity means to you, what it has meant to you, how important it is or how important it isn't. Um, the idea here is that I want you to be thinking about this stuff and thinking critically because when you're in your discussions, I don't want everybody to just say, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. I really want you to dig in and I want you to think about, do you really kind of disagree with what we're talking about here or what with what your classmates said? Okay, be respectful. We're going to be respectful and we are going to um, communicate in, re in a respectful manner. But the thing is, this class is not going to be fun if you just agree and not along just to get through the end of the course. It's going to be fun and it's going to be enriching and it's going to mean something to you if you actually dig into your heart and your mind and try to figure out um, how how are you thinking? Do you have biases? Um, how how have these biases influenced you? Do you are these things that you're just sticking to your guns on? Do you have a reasonable uh, um, stance on a particular thing? Right. We're going to challenge you and we're going to challenge you uh, along the way. I'm going to be challenging you guys in the in the discussion boards as well. Um, but that's really what this first part is. It's about laying the foundation. Okay. So dig into chapter one. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. Good luck.